My name is Sarah McTagg, and I am a graduate student at Scripps Institution of Oceanography based in San Diego, California. And today I will be discussing a project of mine that utilizes GIS to examine the interactions between coral species and between coral morphological types with a specific look at the Palmyra Atoll reef ecosystem. All right, give me one sec. Awesome. So coral reefs are filled with ecological interactions between many different organisms. Coral colonies themselves actually compete with other coral colonies for a variety of different things, including space to live, light for photosynthesis, and access to water currents carrying food. And there are a vast number of ways that coral colonies actually compete with one another. Um, so some coral species have the ability to use chemical mechanisms that can kill colonies of competing corals and inhibit growth of nearby encroaching corals. Some corals can use sweeper tentacles to defend themselves against predators and get rid of coral colonies that have been detected nearby, as you can see in this bottom uh, video on the left. And all of these different forms of coral competition can impact the recruitment of juvenile coral colonies, affect growth and mortality of sessile reef organisms, and alter population dynamics on the reef. So therefore it is very important that we understand the interactions that are occurring between coral colonies in a reef system. All right, so a reliable description of interactions occurring between corals at the centimeter scale is needed as this is where a large amount of competition is known to take place between corals. So previous work has either only examined these interactions at the meter scale directly within the reef environment or at a fine scale in a laboratory setting using technology that is not currently available for underwater fine scale analysis. And furthermore, other studies in the past have used spatial point patterns, um, and these utilize the centroids of ecological objects to perform spatial analysis. So many benthic organisms are actually often poorly represented by their geometric centroid at many scales of interest. Um, therefore, there is a need to extend spatial analysis to deal with irregular shapes that coral colonies and other benthic organisms typically take on. So in this specific study, we utilize large area imaging and GIS to analyze the neighborhoods of different coral species and different coral morphologies at Palmyra Atoll. And the utilization of ArcGIS in this study takes the distinct shapes of corals into account and does not rely so solely on their centroids. And this allows us to understand actually the neighborhoods of all these coral colonies on a much finer scale than previously we could do. So our general research questions pertaining to this study include, who lives next to who um, in the Palmyra Reef ecosystem? And what types of interactions are occurring between coral colonies here? And how does this allow them to survive in such a competitive ecosystem? So all data were collected on Palmyra Atoll, which is a US fish and wildlife refuge based in the central Pacific over here. And in September 2013, 16 10 by 10 meter plots were established on the north side and the south side of the atoll, as you can see here in this figure. So scuba divers using cameras that were mounted on these custom frames took images of these entire plots. And this process can be seen in this bottom video right here. And then raw images were actually taken by the divers and they were fused together to create these finalized mosaics, which you see here on the bottom right. So these mosaics were further processed to classify all coral colonies present in all of the plots to the highest taxonomic classification possible. And to further analyze these neighborhood distributions at the functional level, corals were also grouped by functional morphology. And examples of these morphological types are seen here in this figure on the right. And these include, but are not limited to, to um, tabular morphology right here, encrusting morphology, as well as massive morphology. So these mosaics were traced with classified taxonomy in Photoshop, which you can see right here, which is a long and tedious process, um, but eventually we're able to upload and further process these um, corals in ArcMap, which you can see on the right right here. So now we want to know the neighborhoods of each coral colony that is present in each site. So the buffer tool in ArcMap was utilized to create neighborhood buffers for each colony 
with a distance of 10 centimeters. And this is the hypothesized distance, which within most biological interactions still takes place between these coral colonies. So utilizing buffers for this study, again, allows us to not rely on the centroids of the colonies to perform a spatial analysis. And by actually taking the shape of each individual colony into account, uh, we are able to observe their exact neighborhoods on a very, very fine scale. So after all these buffers were created, we then calculated the percent coverage that all other coral colonies took up within each buffer. And this is found utilizing um, the tabula intersection analysis tool in ArcMap. And from this data, we then wanted to see if there were instances of positive co-occurrence or negative co-occurrence between different coral species and different coral morphological types. So basically, were there pairs that were statistically more likely to be found together or statistically less likely to be found together? So using the percentage data that we ended up getting from ArcMap, um, and a bootstrapping technique in R, we were able to see between a pair if there is either a positive co-occurrence, a negative co-occurrence, or a co-occurrence of no significance. And this was between each pairing over the whole atoll. So over all those 16 sites that I showed you guys earlier. So I am currently in the process of completing my data analysis for this project. So this is my preliminary data right here. Um, and this table represents species co-occurrence on the left, and morphological co-occurrence on the right. And in general, we are observing fewer patterns of co-occurrence or those statistically uh, significant interactions than we previously expected when starting this project. So most observed positive co-occurrence patterns were intraspecific in both species and morphological type. And this means they occurred between um, members of the same species or the same morphological type. And with so many positive co-occurrence patterns uh, being strictly intraspecific, which you can see here, as well as this column right here, um, it is possible that interspecific competition, which is competition um, occurring between differing species or differing morphological types, has led to zero interspecific positive co-occurrence patterns, or um, also all negative uh, patterns of co-occurrence being interspecific which you can see here and here in both, both species and morphology. Um, and there's also discussion that these patterns of co-occurrence are actually seen due to habitat prefer preference differences. Um, so all of this needs to be further analyzed before any solid conclusions can be made. So to wrap up, this study has led to the development of a technique for fine scale analysis that allows us to understand the neighborhood of a sessile organism using in situ data. This method that we developed furthermore does not utilize centroids um, in order to spatially analyze an organism, but instead allows us to use the distinct shape of a coral colony using that buffer analysis in ArcGIS. Um, using this metric, we were able to then describe patterns of spatial co-occurrence between coral species and between morphological types of the Palmyra Reef ecosystem. And the future of this study um, includes finishing up our data analysis and further using these results to understand more clearly what the neighborhood composition of coral species and morphological types tells us about what types of interactions and instances of competition are occurring at this reef ecosystem. Um, and that's all I have.